Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of this multiplayer game of Kaiserreich. I'm joined here by Bussy and Valenoma. Hello. And let's get back to killing the French. Let's get back to killing the French. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're with me on this one. Yep. Well, there goes the rest of the French Navy. And there goes for Paris. Mm -hmm. And the Ameri end of the American Civil War, again. Yep. Can't believe the Pacific states, uh, Join the uh, Middle Europa. Kind of ridiculous. Full of Paris, plus a hundred political power. Lovely. I got, I got minus a hundred political power. Unfortunately, the AOG fell, which is disappointing. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ching is doing pretty well. Yeah, annoyingly so. I do not approve. Uh, yeah, I see that division going up there through uh, Normandy. Nothing I can really do about it. <laughs> the AI's being derpy here, like all my troops are over there. Well, that's really unfortunate for you then, isn't it? Yep. It really is. And what's this? Your capital's breast now. What a, what a shame. Why? Why are you, like, only moving over here? What's, what's your deal? What's your deal, AI? Like, I, I know I'm gonna die. I just have to try to inflict as many losses as I can. You can certainly try. But yeah, I think it's pretty much over for the French now. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Brest is surprisingly well fortified. That's unfortunate. Yep, those are those uh, Egyptian volunteers that were sitting there. Ah, but it fell. Good. This is a super derpy front line. I'm just going to say that. Because no troops are going over to, uh, like, the left side. Yeah, I just noticed that. None at all. Even if they did, there's not much they could do, so I'm not going to try to, like, fix it or anything. It's going to try to inflict losses. That's all I can do. Well, good luck with that. Mm-hmm. New tanks, lovely. Jeez, just 
Just stop. Sorry. Delete okay. that awful front line. Just try again. There we go. Finally. Oh, that's rather a lot of troops caught, caught out there. Oh. Something good happened. I wasn't paying attention, though. I would agree. Wait, what? <laughs> what? I had a ton of national <laughs> unity. And I had a ton of your cities in the north. Well, like, Bordeaux alone would be enough to uh, keep me alive. Apparently not. And what reduced my uh, national unity? Because it was 90. Well, I'm sitting here capitulated. So who do you want to play as now? I mean, I suppose Brazil. Because, uh... It's supposed to be, like, the biggest faction, so I could do, like, Japan, I could do the Axis, I could Russia. even do, like, the Belgrade Pact. Um, Russia doesn't have a faction, and can they even make one? Not sure. <laughs> you could play as Austria. <laughs> I could do that as well. The two and a half international... <laughs> I mean, the third international is not dead yet. You still got the Union of Britain. I and know. And Sweden, for that matter. It, yeah, I, I give up on them, though. That's not very it's, nice. They never gave up on you. I'll, I'll stick with uh, Austria, I think. Austria? <laughs> you just want to get revenge on me, don't you? Well, I mean, they were helping you, weren't they? Not very much. They were sending you volunteers and lend lease. Not very much. Nonetheless, I'm not just going to pull like a complete 180 with the uh, with the Austrian foreign policy like that. Well, I guess we need to rehost, so I'm going to pause the recording here, and then we can discuss this. And we're back again. Uh, Val, do you want to introduce yourself again? I'm uh, playing as Austria now. So basically the rule was that they had to play as another faction, because this is a faction war. So the second and a half international exists, they are socialist scum and they deserve to die. <laughs> Even though I have like 13 divisions as volunteers to you. No, I, I did say that you can have an extra year of life, and that's being generous. <sighs> Whoops, shit, I just clicked through an event. And... Um... Did I just crash? I think I um, did. Nope. That's I'm really good. good. Do you mind if we reload that? Because that is just really annoying. <laughs> what? I just petitioned up France. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I just had to like do a bunch of stuff in Austria. So I mean, we could. But... <sighs> Ah, uh, never mind. I'll deal with it. Austria was kind of a mess. Yeah, you're going to deal with it? I'll deal with it. Just means that I have another massive manpower pool. Which I guess isn't a really, really bad thing. Why, why does Austria have so many volunteers just all over the place? Because reasons. There are so many Dutch volunteers. Who's the Netherlands even fighting? Oh, France. It was fighting, fighting France. Yeah. The Great Britain. Alright. That'll do. Killing lots of stuff and things. Marvelous. 
zum Ausrücken. I don't Kein even know. Ausrücken. These Austrians. Oh, I just opened my uh, my production menu. Good yeah. God, why? Why did I do this? I don't know. Befehle. Why did you do that? You do not need submarines. You sure you don't need submarines? Everyone needs I'm pretty submarines. sure I don't I, I don't need submarines. No, everyone needs a submarine. Oh, I sure don't. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. Ah, uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Get some oil from the German Empire. Get some rubber from the German Empire. You're welcome. I mean, you do have like all the resources in the entire world. Yep, pretty much. So, not much choice there. As I was saying, you're welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, with these people wanting non-aggression pacts. Oh. Oh, I lost so many factories when I gave France back. Ah! Irritating. Very, very irritating. I wouldn't have divided it into three. I would have just given everything to France if I wanted a puppet. Why am I so bad at the game? I don't know. Why are you so bad at the game? What are you doing that's bad? Everything. Well, these uh, glorious Austrian tanks are uh, pushing in uh, in Spain. I'm Who's trying to you? capitulate the CNT. Foul, rubbishy, communisty, scummy. I know, right? Coming from the socialist. <laughs> well, I'm supporting Carlos Spain. Interesting. Oh, that's a problem. Angetreten. Ausrücken. Oh, I suddenly have a bunch more. Los, um. los, los. A 
a bunch more what? Manpower. Something that people have been yelling at me to do in the comments. I knew full well that it was possible, I just didn't really need it. And another one. Lovely jubbly. Ooh, just sank. Ten things. Ah, Portugal. Awesome. Middle Africa is no longer, like, just done. Lovely jubbly. And Middle Africa didn't even get anything. Yeah, I could have given them some land. Probably should have. Well, I mean, you could have those resources and population for yourself. I do. That's what, like, uh, like seven, eight million people you just took? You're not going to be able to recruit very many of them, but it's... Uh, Considering my standing manpower is 2.7 million and I'm still on limited conscription, I think I'm fine. No. Could get another focus. What do I need? Like, what's your uh, total population? I'll check in a minute. You got sixty three million. Total manpower. Where do I see that again? Oh, I just got the same event second time. Wow, that's a lot of guns. <coughs> I have an awful lot of it? guns. It's a lot of guns? It's a lot of guns. I think I captured most of them from you. Maybe. Ah, the German election. We want the authoritarian Democrats to win. Yay, more political power. Yay. Oh, good God, it's Austria. I'm getting a ton. Yeah, Austria tends to do pretty well. High popularity. And nothing like really reducing it, so. Woohoo. I have a feeling that it's just going to be the same situation, but on a much greater scale when I end up at war with you. Quite possibly, yeah. It's going to be rather because, intensive. Because there are more meat shields in Austria. There are so many more meat shields. Well, time will tell if that's true or not. An interesting thing. I have probably about 20, 30 divisions out as volunteers, and as soon as I enter a war, they all return. That's true. Yeah, you're going to have quite an influx of people. 
I will. But that has actually given me a little bit of army experience. As France, I had uh, 500 of all three of the army experience things. Or, uh, experience. Oh no, Flanders cancelled their lend lease. How could you, Flanders? Well, they need their guns. Not as much as I need them. They need to support their army of 50 divisions. Good God. <laughs> Flanders has done pretty well out of me because I gave them a bunch of land from the French. Good they, God. They did their part in the war. 50 divisions. 50 divisions? That is absurd. <laughs> right, right, you guys are finished. Fact. Get you guys to come home. Poland's cancelled their lend lease. No, not Poland. Oh, by the way, now that I've capitulated, I can tell you that I built, like, a bunch of anti-air stuff, and that was, like, uh, messing with your planes a lot. Oh, yeah, That's I knew. Probably, like, what you were, uh, talking about, because you talked about, like, some plane weirdness. Well, I was bombing the hell out of southern France. I don't think you noticed that. No, I did. Okay. <laughs> Was it actually hurting you? Because I'm, I'm curious how effective strategic bombing actually is. Not significantly. You only had like a few hundred bombers over me. Like it wasn't that effective. Like I could, I could repair them quite easily. Yeah, considering the cost of those bombers, I really... Strategic bombing's not particularly powerful. It, well, what it really does is it just absolutely annihilates my infrastructure. But that's that's pretty much it. Like it'll damage a factory like now and then, but I'll just like repair it. But it's it's the infrastructure that's like that it really gets damaged. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Like my my volunteers over with uh, Lithuania have put themselves on your Russian border, just yeah. like. Clearly ex expecting something from the Russians then, aren't they? Middle Europa, Russian border. Yeah, I mean, maybe we should pay attention to the AI. Maybe. Oh, really? Sweden's considered a great power now? No. <laughs> what? Because that would Wait, mean I need to capitulate are even There are even great powers in this? What? Yeah, if you click on... Oh, you're not a war, but... When you click on the war thing, there are two colors around the shields. There's like the plain border and then gold borders. If you capitulate everyone with a golden border, you win the war. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, it was really bizarre in my single-player game as Austria. For some reason, Brittany was considered a great power. <laughs> yes, mighty Brittany. I mean, to be perfectly honest, Flanders Valonia probably would if they were independent. They've got more divisions than Sweden does. Yeah, but Brittany's not independent. And it wasn't in the Austria game either. Hmm. And Flanders Valonia didn't have, like, a gold border. Maybe it's based off of industry? Who knows? Maybe. Because that's something that Sweden has, like, 62 factories, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Flanders Bologna has 55. Flanders has 55 factories? Oh, blimey, they do as well. I mean, <laughs> they're a freaking titan. I can't wait until they get a focus tree. Well, historically, Belgium was pretty well industrialized, but I thought that was kind of like in the 1800s. Well, apparently that carried over here. <laughs> yeah. 
They've done it again. I'm going to need some tungsten from you, Germany. Go ahead and buy it. This is why Keep, I didn't give uh, uh, Portugal their independence. Mm hmm. This is why I didn't yeah. want to give France their independence, so I could take all of their aluminium. Well, that's what you get for misclicking. It was hardly a misclick. There was a bit of lag. Thing had popped up. I clicked on something and it selected the option. Yeah, misclick. Sure, sure. Excuses, excuses. Hey, it's on camera. You can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Austrian civilian economy. Is that a good thing? Yes, it is. Then I'm very pleased for you. Well, that's a uh, nice difference. <laughs> Pleased for me is uh, much preferable to, uh, like, wanting me to um, fail. That's Wales out. Oh no, not the Welsh Union! <laughs> yes, the Welsh Union. But they had so much to live for! This is always one of the silly things about Nicky Glace, like, Give Wales their independence, then someone just capitulates Wales, and it's an instant backdoor. Yeah. New guns. Oh, that's what I'm lacking. Of course, I'm being stupid. There's just one thing that I'm lacking. What's that? Skill. <laughs> Considering how quickly you took Igel out, no. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of need the same thing. Just share share your mighty wisdom, Mordred. I am. Yeah, the problem with you, Father Noma, is that you're losing and giving everything to Mordred. Making his game easier. You took America. I keep starting like next to him. That's like maybe point. you should you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I really shouldn't. So um you having trouble with Mexico there? Uh, a tiny bit. So, yes. Ordred, that means weakness. That does mean weakness, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Outdated equipment in production. How could you? Nothing but why, the best. Why would you? It's taking so long. Oh. Okay, there's infantry type 1. No, delete. Infantry type 2. No, delete. <laughs> Having fun with that. Type 3. Delete. Type 4. No. Type 5. No. 
uh, this weird Hungarian division. I'll alter that later. Um, infantry type one again. No. Infantry type six. No. <laughs> Infantry type 7, I actually have a bunch of troops of this template, so right. eh, I kind of have to stick with it. Oh, I should point out for the people watching that I have renamed the armies right. while uh, Valnoma was picking a new country. So, Patreon subscribers do in fact have a name now. Yay. While I was country shopping. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because uh, if you compare my current military to that of Brazil, or Bharatiya, or Russia, it's um, obvious why I chose this. Because Austria is strong. But is it strong enough? It's strong enough. But your power really... is in your puppets. Your puppets are freaking scary. If you use them right, yeah. I mean, like, Flanders Valonia, 50 divisions! I mean, like, actually, I survived a lot longer than I thought I would. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought I would just get stomped, like, immediately. Well, Germany doesn't start off in a very strong position. Well. I couldn't exactly take you out, though. I couldn't push that line. So many fights going on in the English Channel. Sweden just keeps on trying to sneak convoys through. Oh, the Dutch managed to land. Interesting. Oh, jeez. The Austrian civilian economy is, like, super strong. They do get a lot of uh, factories. Not quite to the levels of Germany, but it's not bad. So, uh, I should probably, um, look at your videos to see what land doctrine you went down. You might. You could. You, you don't have to, but you could. I should. Because I'm stuck with what the AI chose, and I can assure you, it's really stupid. The AI chose poorly. Because I, I have an army of mainly infantry here. Yeah. They Welsh. chose something real stupid. Welsh Union capitulates again. Well, the Union of Britain is uh, pretty pretty tough. And I also have Swiss volunteers, apparently. Well, the Swiss guards were supposed to be pretty good. <laughs> I 
Oh, how long is this going to take? Long time. Oh, and this episode is way over. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, then do consider subscribing. If you have any tips or advice for any of us, let us know in the comments. And if you would like to support the channel in another way, check out the Patreon as well. That's a goodbye from Bussy and Valnoma. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.